Have you ever wondered how fast sound travels and what happens when we exceed that speed? Let's delve into the captivating world of supersonic flight. This intriguing realm is all about breezing past the speed of sound, a feat that's not as simple as stepping on the gas pedal. Sound, my friends, travels at a speed known as Mach 1. But here's the catch. This speed isn't constant. It varies based on factors like temperature and pressure. So, we have a moving target, and we are trying to outpace it. Exciting, isn't it? Now let's talk about speed classifications. We have four categories based on how fast an aircraft is flying in relation to the speed of sound. First, we have subsonic flights, cruising below Mach 1. Then, there are transonic flights flirting around the speed of sound. Next up, we have the stars of our show, supersonic flights jetting off faster than Mach 1. And finally, there's the realm of science fiction turned reality, hypersonic flights zipping along at speeds faster than Mach 5. But what happens when an object outpaces sound? Well, it's not exactly a quiet event. When an aircraft breaks the sound barrier, it creates a sonic boom. This powerful shockwave isn't just a spectacle for the ears, but it can also cause significant structural damage. It's like throwing a stone into a tranquil pond and watching the ripples spread out, only on a much larger and louder scale. So, breaking the sound barrier results in a phenomenon known as the sonic boom. But how did we first achieve this? Stay tuned to find out. Our journey into the realm of supersonic speeds began in 1947 with a daring pilot and a unique aircraft. The name of the pilot was Captain Charles E. Chuck Yeager, a man of courage and determination. His steed for this historical endeavor was the Bell X-1 research vehicle, a marvel of engineering designed to pierce the sound barrier. This was not a simple flight. Yeager was venturing into the unknown, challenging the limits of both man and machine. His journey took him soaring to an altitude of 43,000 feet where he achieved the unimaginable. Jaeger's Bell X-1, dropped from a B-29 bomber, roared into history, accelerating with its rocket engine to a velocity of 700 miles per hour. That's Mach 1.06, faster than the speed of sound. However, Jaeger's historic flight wasn't just the result of a brave pilot and a powerful aircraft. Behind the scenes was the National Advisory Committee for Aerodynamics, or NACA. Their tireless research into high-speed gas dynamics and aerodynamics was instrumental in the success of the Bell X-1. The role of NACA was one of engineering science, a delicate dance of seeking scientific knowledge to enhance the design of engineering artifacts. They were the unsung heroes, the architects of the supersonic age. Their research laid the foundation for understanding the speed of sound, a crucial factor dividing subsonic flight from supersonic flight. So, with a daring pilot, a unique aircraft, and the support of a pioneering research committee, the first successful supersonic flight was achieved. It marked a significant milestone in aviation history, proving that man could indeed travel faster than sound. But this was just the beginning. So, the path to exceeding the speed of sound was paved. But what challenges lay ahead? Only time would tell. The era of supersonic flight had just begun. Flying faster than sound is not without its hurdles. Just as our dreams of supersonic flight became a reality, so too did the challenges that come with it. As an aircraft darts through the atmosphere at speeds greater than Mach 1, it has to contend with two major obstacles, excessive heat and sonic booms. The first of these challenges is the high heat generated by friction. As an aircraft surpasses the speed of sound, it enters a realm known as supersonic flight. Here, the air molecules cannot move out of the way quickly enough, resulting in a buildup of pressure and temperature. This intense heat can pose a threat to the aircraft's structural integrity, not to mention the comfort and safety of those on board. Then there's the sonic boom, a powerful shockwave created when an object surpasses the speed of sound. This sonic boom doesn't just follow the aircraft, but spreads out in a cone behind it, reaching the ground and causing potential structural damage. Imagine a supersonic airliner flying over a city and the sonic boom shattering windows and shaking buildings. It's not a pleasant thought, is it? Due to these issues, in 1973, a ban was placed on supersonic flight over land. This ban effectively clipped the wings of commercial supersonic travel, relegating it to transoceanic routes only. The dream of hopping on a plane after breakfast and landing halfway around the world in time for lunch was put on hold. However, these challenges didn't stop our pursuit of faster air travel, and so the quest for quieter supersonic flight began. Innovation is the key to overcoming challenges, and the field of supersonic flight is no exception. 
As we delve into the realm of supersonic flight, we see how innovative minds have transformed our understanding of sonic booms. NASA, the pioneer in space exploration, has been at the forefront of this transformative journey. They've made significant strides in understanding the nature of sonic booms and how to shape aircraft to reduce their intensity. The sonic boom, a powerful shockwave created when an object surpasses the speed of sound, has been a major hurdle in the adoption of supersonic flight. This phenomenon can cause structural damage and because of its disruptive nature, supersonic flight over land has been banned since the early 70s. However, NASA's research has led to advancements that could change this. The agency's Quest mission is a revolutionary endeavor aiming to break the sound barrier in a new way. At the heart of this mission is the experimental X-59 airplane, a marvel of modern engineering designed to fly faster than sound without generating the loud disruptive sonic booms we're used to. Instead, the X-59 is expected to produce a quieter sonic thump, a significant advancement that could change the perception of supersonic flight. The goal is to demonstrate this quieter sonic thump to regulators and the public, potentially lifting the long-standing ban on supersonic flight over land. This could open a whole new era of air travel, enabling passengers to travel at supersonic speeds, drastically reducing flight times, and transforming our perception of distance. The dream of commercial supersonic travel, which dates back to the 60s, could finally be within our grasp. And it's all thanks to the relentless pursuit of innovation, the courage to challenge the status quo and the determination to make the impossible, possible. The X-59 represents a new era in supersonic flight but what does this mean for the future of air travel? The dream of commercial supersonic travel is closer than ever. With the advent of quieter supersonic flights, we are perched on the brink of a new era in aviation, where the speed of sound is not a limit, but a milestone to pass. Imagine a world where the time taken to fly from New York to London is halved, where the distant corners of the globe are brought closer together. This is not just a pipe dream, it's a tangible possibility that could soon be realized. The key to unlocking this future lies in overcoming the challenges posed by sonic booms, the thunderous noise that results when an aircraft surpasses the speed of sound. NASA's Quest mission is leading the charge in this quest, designing an experimental airplane, the X-59, that aims to break the sound barrier without generating those disruptive sonic booms. Instead, it promises a quieter sonic thump, a feat achieved by carefully shaping the aircraft to reduce the intensity of the shock waves it produces. The potential impact of this quieter supersonic flight on air travel is immense. It could pave the way for lifting the ban on supersonic flight over land, a restriction that has held back the progress of commercial supersonic travel since the early 70s. This could revolutionize air travel, allowing passengers to travel at speeds greater than the speed of sound, cutting down travel time significantly. The X-59 is expected to have its first flight in early 2023. This flight holds the promise of a new dawn in aviation, heralding the return of commercial supersonic travel after decades of banishment to the annals of history. But it's not just about faster flights. The advancements in supersonic technology could lead to breakthroughs in other fields, from space exploration to climate science, opening up new horizons of knowledge and discovery. As we stand on the cusp of this new era, we are reminded that innovation is a journey, not a destination. The future of supersonic flight is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human ingenuity, a testament to our relentless pursuit of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The sky is no longer the limit when it comes to pushing the boundaries of speed. Breaking the sound barrier is a feat of human ingenuity and determination. Our journey began back in 1947 when Captain Charles E. Chuck Yeager, in the Bell X-1 research vehicle, first flew faster than the speed of sound. This remarkable achievement was the result of centuries of research in high-speed gas dynamics and aerodynamics, marking a significant milestone in aviation history. But as we've seen, supersonic flight is not without its challenges. The sonic boom, a powerful shockwave created when an object surpasses the speed of sound, can cause structural damage and is a major hurdle to surmount. The high heat generated by friction in hypersonic flights, those faster than Mach 5, is another pressing issue. Yet human progress is defined by overcoming obstacles. Innovative solutions like NASA's X-59 experimental airplane are paving the way for quieter, more efficient supersonic flights. The X-59's design aims to break the sound barrier without generating loud sonic booms, a breakthrough that could potentially lift the ban on supersonic flight over land. 
Looking forward, the dream of commercial supersonic travel, which dates back to the 1960s, is closer to becoming a reality than ever before. The advancements in understanding sonic booms and shaping aircraft to reduce their intensity are helping to usher in a new era in air travel. As we continue to break barriers, who knows what speeds we'll reach next? Until then, keep looking up and dreaming big.